All right, our sex fam, I'm back today. I'm gonna do a little video on one of the old cars we got out here that's kind of cool that we're gonna sell off. I think that'll be a fun little thing. We'll walk through it. Um, it'd be really something cool. I'm tired of this stuff sitting around and you know, I'm not, I don't want to keep this stuff just to have it. I'd rather somebody that gets it, you know, do something with it, restore it, drive it, do whatever. And so I think we're going to make this a, a reoccurring segment. I don't know how often it's going to be. Um, but we do got some stuff. I don't know if we're going to do it in the wintertime or not. Um, but we're going to, we're going to start a little segment of stuff in the yard that is for sale. Um, if you see something in the background of the videos, you can hit me up. Um, and you know, on our website at autorecyclerswy.com. We don't do a lot of selling whole vehicles and the counter really is not versed in it. Um, so, I don't know, we're gonna have to work on that a little bit and try and decide what we're gonna do. Cause historically we didn't sell like whole cars. Um, so we had a lot of cars I kept complete and then I didn't sell them. Like, because we weren't a dealer, we didn't sell cars, we weren't versed in it, that sort of deal. But I'm, I'm kind of over it. I don't want this stuff sitting and just going to waste, you know, from sitting. And so I think, you know, if you see something in the background, hit me up. It might be kind of complicated and a pain in the butt until we start, or you'll get, get used to it. Um, but work with us on this. Uh, if it's the car that we're, we're doing here, yeah, definitely hit me up. Um, you can email us as well. Otters like there's uh, wy at gmail.com. And I do see some of them. Um, if you put in the header, you know, something with YouTube, something, car, you know, what which car you're looking at or that, that sort of deal. You know, I can, uh, you know, I'll, I'll be more apt to notice it because I deal some with the emails. Um, but, We'll figure it out. <laughs> There'll be some growing pains, but we'll figure it out. So behind me, what we got here is a 65 Chevy Sport van. And I think it's awesome. It's really solid. And it was like the kind of the camper, the, the mini camper model. It's not like a full on, like, like Westy Volkswagen, um, but it is kind of a camp. I'll take you over there and show it to you. And let me know what you think. So I think these things are really, really awesome. Um, it does have the double doors on this side. Uh, it's got the front door here. And then you got the double doors here. It is missing the handle for the double doors. Uh, you know, the door handle, but you can find that. I don't know if we have one or not. I'd, I'd kind of be surprised if we do. Um, but we'll see, or we can see. Um, it's really solid. There's not, not really a, like, any obvious rust it does have a step that comes out on the bottom too uh, not a lot of dents yeah, it's, it's pretty solid there is some surface rust here but it's not I mean, it's still really solid it's not like rusted through or flaky rust here's what the inside looks like it still looks just like what it it would have looked like this is the trim panel for up here it has a the full awesome you know carpet in it. It's been really solid. You know, all the panels are there. It has a little fridge there, this two burner stove, and it did have a sink. But it's not there no more. You can see the battery up there sits underneath the passenger seat. And it's got a big doghouse for the engine. Overall it's really complete. It doesn't smell bad. It's got some fairly awesome carpet in there. Um, it's, it's pretty solid. Driver's side has no doors. It's just got the door out the front where the driver rides. It may be missing. And I think that's the panel back there is the door panel for this door right here. Um, doesn't have a steering wheel. 
Probably had some sort of custom steering wheel on it that somebody took off there. It does got a straight six motor in it. And it does have a three on the tree manual transmission. Um, you know, everything's pretty much there. I would say that the motor probably is stuck. Um, I reached down and just tried to turn it, but I haven't messed with it too much. Um, it could be free. I haven't, I haven't really played with it a lot. Um, either way, you know, it would probably be a good thing to be able to uh, pull it out, refresh it, you know, at least gasket seals, rings and bearings. Um, but overall, I mean, it might be something somebody could get to run and I could get into it a little bit more and, and see if it really is locked up or if it does spin. Um, this thing's been here for quite a while. Um, it's really solid though. It does have the awesome red carpet. The, it's not, I wouldn't call it shag. It's like a cut pile. It's, it's just a heavy cut pile. Um, but basically, I mean, it's not really rusty around the windows or any of that stuff. It's, it's pretty solid really. does have a the, the vent window is missing here there's nothing in there that's the only window that's broken or missing the windshield's still in it still in good shape does have a nice brush guard on it but i thought these sport vans were really really awesome i mean i, I really liked them i think they're they're ultra cool uh, vans are making a comeback right now and it would be something that would be really easy for somebody to get in play with uh, you know the camper vans and the the van life hashtag van life stuff is a thing and it's a, it's a big thing and everybody can have their ugly jelly bean vans and i'm not saying nothing bad about them but this one has way more personality it's way more awesome um probably has about as much power as them other ones do too um if you set it up you know nice with modern amenities you could live with that thing you know really really comfortable and you'd have something that you wouldn't see anybody else driving down the road in really um so give it some thought i'll figure out a price on it and post it with the video here um like i did on the other ones and just do a little rundown kind of kind of deal it does have a clean title it's ready to go um we can help load it <laughs> it needs to go somewhere and have somebody you know drive the wheels off it you know get it running and drive it you know it, it doesn't have to be pretty it just has to you know have fun live life you know that's that sort of deal and that's that's kind of what we're, i'm encouraging i, I really uh, embrace derek from vice grips philosophy in this whole deal and you know have fun with it drive it uh you know enjoy it and yeah if you have time or the means to make it awesome you know or, or pretty i guess um do that too but this thing would be a great great ride uh, be something fun it probably runs down the interstate or right down the road better than the volkswagen van does uh we do got some of them and we got one that's an interesting one um that will be coming up but uh yeah it, it's it's an awesome little ride and honestly you know I, I i somebody needs to buy it have some fun with it you know live life um it'll be a good one so till the next video thanks for watching